Hello everyone! Welcome to Hexagon Puzzle. This game was on... it was released early January of this year, I think? So, like, a couple weeks ago, maybe? Uh, and it's like... two dollars or something? It's some kind of puzzle game involving pushing tiles. I looked at the store page and it seemed fine. I'm probably not gonna, like, super love it, but I like puzzles, so I thought I'd at least give it a try. Uh, with that, let's dive in and see what's going on with puzzle number one. Okay. We, are, we have an arrow and a thing. I assume we click it. Yes. So clicking on arrows moves them in the direction. Is it legal to do this? It is. Is this an undo button? No, it's a reset button. Is there an undo? I don't see one. That's a little annoying. Okay. We can push other blocks. Okay. We can even push pushable blocks. Okay. Uh, ooh, I wish they had like a colorblind mode. It's actually, I can, I can tell the difference, but it's not easy. All right, this is like a puzzle we have to think a little bit about, I suppose, right? Um, but probably not very much. I think we can just do this. Oops. Wrong order there. There we go. Uh, seems to me we obviously want to get this out of the way, don't we? Is there any reason we wouldn't? No. Okay. Ah, now we're learning about these arrows that don't exist anywhere, that, that aren't on a block, right? What's the deal with this blue thing? How could we possibly move it, right? We need to get it up, but it doesn't, it's not clickable. You push it here and it becomes clickable. Fine. Ah, and this one ran over that space, and it also went in that direction. So now we push them both up here, and let the red push the whole chain into place. Okay. So this is kind of like a corner you can use to turn if you want. Okay, I mean, I guess this is simple enough, right? Oh, that was wrong. Not supposed to do that. Gotta leave the orange hanging so you can get the blue in first. Okay. Was it yellow? I don't know. God, pink? These colors. Not my favorite. Um, there's obviously a lot going on here. What can we do that doesn't immediately bankrupt us? The main thing that stands out would be like this? I guess? Because you can always undo that. But I'm not sure what it really accomplishes. I guess there's this as well, but... Well, okay, you can get these out of the way so that something else can go through if that's useful. Like, for example, that, right? Could be a thing we might want to do. But I bet we need to get something else in place here, like push the pink out of the way. Yeah. So we, we get this stuff out of the way, and we do this. And then we bring the pink over. There we go. I received achieve achievement one. That's all it says. One. Um. Okay, there's one of these things. These two can fight each other, so that they're like kind of flexibly mobile. Obviously, we could just move the pink here, but I kind of feel like there should be something more important going on. Actually, it doesn't seem like there is. We just do this? What was the arrow even for? It's a mystery. There are a lot of constraints in these puzzles, I guess. Right? Just parsing out what it is you have to do is really complicated. What is the goal? I have to get this thing here, this thing here, this thing here, this thing here, and this thing here. There's a lot of ands. I kind of prefer a puzzle game where there's a simple goal and a few elements that you manipulate in sort of reasonable ways. 
but fine. Um, I mean, I can do something like this. That's out of the way now. Doesn't really feel like it was the right idea. Get the purple out of the way now. But the problem is, how does the red ever get over here? Everything else is set. But there's just no way to move the red that I can see. So the red is the hard one, right? Maybe we had to do this? Mm, no. Because now if I push the red far enough, the pink is dead. But the pink one seems important. What am I supposed to do with this? Nobody who's standing here ever wants to move that way, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Ah! I don't have to push it both steps with the pink. I can push it with the green. Mm -hmm. So I could do like this. Mm -hmm. As a partial solution, right? I have to do something else because mm -hmm. there's now the problem with this blue. But that's that's part of the answer. Can we resolve the blue first somehow? Like, what if I get the blue out of the way? Is that good somehow? It is. Because now... I can do this. So that wasn't part of the solution, actually. This way, the pink and the red are separated by the blue. And we don't have to do any funny business up here. I see. But again, that arrow didn't do anything. I don't like red herrings, either. Like, they're okay used in moderation, I guess. But there would be some some reason why they might be appealing. All right, so now we have two that are the same color. I assume we can get either one to either of them. Uh, well, actually, let's ask the question, which one is ever getting here, right? And I feel like the answer has got to be this one. Nobody could ever get this here. So... Well, oh yeah, that is fine. It does just line up. I thought there was something more complicated going on there. Oh, maybe it wasn't achievement one. Maybe it was an I. What are the dang achievements they've given me already? Why am I getting? I don't. I don't know. I don't care about achievements, but they're they seem to be spelling out some letters. How do I look at this? I don't know how to use Steam. <laughs> Normally when you shift tab, oh yeah, there you go. I seem to have achieved, oh. The achievements A through L, has it been giving one for every level and I've only just now noticed? I guess so, okay. Uh, what? So this wants to come down here, that's fine. These guys kind of want to go there, but this has to go through first. We gotta get this green through. Yeah, not much going on here, actually. I don't know why that, that puzzle like 10 or 11 was a, a real stumper for me, and then everything after has been not much of an issue. Okay, there's a lot of obvious stuff going on here though I gotta say this music gets a little repetitive yeah all right we'll just turn it off how about that it's like a two second loop or something um
what 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 am I trying to do? This blue has to get up here, which is kind of interesting, right? And this is a really weird setup because if you get pushed this way, if you push yourself this way, you land here, which means you have to go there. So the obvious thing is for like maybe orange wants that, right? Um But it's not strictly the only way it could be used, I think. I don't know, maybe it is. But it's hard to see how to get orange up here, even if you wanted to, right? I don't, I don't, I don't actually know that you could. So I'm not sure what this is all about. Uh, we could get this red in between these two if that were useful. Oh, I don't even get the blooping noises if I turn All right, we'll put the music back on. Those blooping noises are reassuring. Makes me feel like I'm doing something. So this is obviously a non... Well, no. It could be okay. This blue is in kind of awkward shape, but if you push it so that it comes down here, it could be okay. Hmm. Oh, this arrow is very interesting. So now you can do this and actually get back onto the board. This way the blue could do something like this. Y you see we're almost there. We just have to get the blue up there, which is like sadly kind of impossible. Well, maybe not. Yeah, now that we have a back and forth thing, right? We can use these guys to do something. Um... Oh, this one's pointing the wrong way, though. I see. So we don't actually have a back and forth. I don't know. My issue with this game is that there's not really like a clear progression of techniques or ideas or whatever, right? I don't seem to be learning any reusable skills yet. I'm just like, I don't know, push some buttons around, see what happens. And so when I reach a puzzle where there's no particularly obvious way to do things. I don't have any like stable of ideas to go back to. To 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 try to figure out what's going on. It's like kind of cool that these two push each other. Wow. Amazing. Um I wonder if we could do something funny, like change blue straight away, like that. And now blue's in the right place. Okay, so how do I get these three, these four to work together? We had something earlier, I don't remember if it really worked. How do we get the green to go this way, like to, cut, to get down here? It seems really hard. Well, yeah, it does.
because we have to push it like if we're pushing it down right it's kind of the only way we can obviously we like push it up here and then we could push it east but that doesn't maybe that does accomplish something because i can have it turn this way right yeah and now it can get itself into place uh, oh, there's this problem, though, huh? These two are swapped. And I can't really fix that, I don't think. Well, maybe I could. Ugh. Now, I had to do that so that this could get in behind it. Oh, also, we didn't get this point the right way yet. Whoops. But now the blue is dead. Oops. We could do this to fix the blue, but then the red is dead. Oh, it isn't dead. This was actually working the whole time. And now I just have to reproduce it without this accidental... Well, and also fix this problem. Oh my god, but I don't remember anything about what I did to get there. I dealt with the blue first, right? How did I do that? I pushed it onto this thing? And then... I got the green pointing the other way. And I think I have to do that... before I push stuff back here, right? Because if I just... if I let the red in, only one of them is going to be able to join. So I think you want to do something like this. Right, this is what I did, I think. Get this actually pointing the right way so it can bring itself back. And I, I think I want to push the green, but I don't want to commit to that because it's not doing anything yet, so... The problem is that this... Mm, what is the problem? Yeah, maybe I need the space for one of my other pieces. Because didn't I have some solution that involved using the blue to push it down? That seems impossible now, but maybe it worked. Oh yeah, it was. It would work, right? As long as I had two other pieces here, so that one was standing here, and it would have to be the green one. So I could get the green one here, and the red one here. I could have the blue push them down. So I guess that looks sort of like this, right? Uh, is this okay? I think so. I can push this quite far this way. Scoot the yellow in and then push everything back. Alright, that was a tough puzzle. Uh, excuse me? What? Okay, so that rotates every turn. How am I supposed to tell that apart from a normal one? I get the joke, but doesn't that look exactly like an ordinary dude? Like, hello? What's... Uh, I go back and look at, like, I don't know, 13. I I can't tell it apart. It's kind of light gray with dark there, and then I can go look at this one, and it's like kind of light gray with dark there. They're fucking identical. And I'm just supposed to... Alright, I mean, I don't know. It seems like this puzzle game is not really for me. It's not, like, a horrible game, but it's not my favorite. So I think we'll just stop here. And, you know, if you guys enjoyed this, you can buy it. It's cheap. You've pretty much seen uh, what there is to the game. It looks like there are 38 levels. We got through almost half of them. 
So I guess if you really like the game, maybe you should have bought it around here. But what can you do? Anyway, that's uh, that was uh, Hexagon Puzzle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.